For the fourth year in a row, the East Bridge Art and Music Festival takes place in downtown Owensboro. We have the co-founder, Kat Taylor, with us this morning. Kat, are you ready? I'm ready. Tell us about the East Bridge Art and Music Festival. It's the fourth year. How did you even get this off the ground? Well, it's a funny story. Actually, uh, my sister, Christy Cheney, and I were on vacation, and we said to ourselves, maybe we should start an art festival. And we thought maybe it would take a year to plan it, but instead we took three months, and we just threw it all together in three months. And in August of 2011, East Bridge Art Festival was born. Actually, it was on its own that very first year, correct? You just started it at Studio Slant downtown on uh, 2nd Street. And were you happy with the first year? We were. We had uh, 25 artists and a few food vendors, and it was all in one small little yard. It was an absolute blast. What has changed in the last three years that will make this Saturday's event so special? Well, we've gone up um, from the first year of 25 artists to almost a little over 60 artists. We've got more food vendors. We've got uh, more activities for children, more activities for just patrons that come down to be chalk artists. It was unique that the city actually ask you to partner with them because it was on the same weekend as Bridge Day. The first Bridge Day, I think, was in November of 2011. And then the next year, the city asked us, hey, do you want to partner? We thought that would be great. And then last year, you know, they were painting the bridge, so we didn't have the option to do Bridge Day. But Bridge Day will take place this Saturday along with the East Bridge and Art and Music Festival. Let's talk a little bit about what to expect. First, the art portion of the East Bridge Art and Music Festival, and especially the chalk drawings. I'm just fascinated by those. If you haven't seen them, they're actual, they appear to be 3D. How do they do this? That is still a mystery to me as well. (laughs) But um, yeah, we're flying in Sean Hayes. He's from Chicago, and he's actually the Chicago chalk champ. He creates these murals on the ground that when you take a picture, it looks like maybe you're falling into it. It's really something special. Besides the chalk artist, you'll have artists with a variety of art available this Saturday. Yes, we do. Um, like I said, we have over 60 artists, and that ranges from pottery to photography to jewelry. Actually, a local artist that makes sculptures out of found junk from a junkyard. Where are the out-of-town artists coming from? We've got artists coming from, in Kentucky, as far as eastern Kentucky, uh, a lot in the Lexington and Louisville area, and we even have artists coming up from Alabama. In the past three years, it's gotten a lot broader, and you can tell that the word has been spreading across, you know, a few different states, so that's always good for us and good for Owensboro. It's an art and music festival. What music can we expect? All of our music, we're really proud of this, is all local musicians, younger talent that play at different restaurants across Owensboro. And so for this day, we want to bring them and showcase them on the stage in front of, you know, all the thousands that come down for the festival. The festival actually begins Saturday at 10 o'clock and continues till 7. The bridge will actually be closed from 10 until 2 for those that want to try to walk all the way across and back. It's a great view from up there, isn't it? It is. And then it's a great view of 2nd Street, too, where all the chalk artists will be. This will be the first year that all of downtown has been completed, most of the construction, I should say, for the East Bridge Art and Music Festival this Saturday. How will that affect the uh, turnout and the positioning of all the artists? This will also allow for no construction. It will allow for people to visit other stops downtown while they're enjoying our festival. Besides the art and music, it's also a food festival, and it's not the food that you find at a carnival. No, it's not. We have local restaurants that are coming to do gourmet street food. That's food that you wouldn't normally see on their menu in their restaurant. We've got the Miller House, the famous bistro, feta, and delicious desserts coming down. And so it'll be like small three to four dollar items that you, you know, not won't typically get at the restaurant. And there's something for the kids as well. Back again is the children's tent. Yeah, the children's tent is really cool. It is five dollars to get in, and when you get in the children's tent, you get to do six to eight different crafts. We've got everything from face painting to building your own robot out of computer part, and all of those you get to take home with you. And it's sponsored by Independence Bank. All of the kids uh, are invited to attend the kids' tent. Five dollars, six different projects. That sounds like quite an afternoon of fun. It sure is, and it's a good. It's, it's 
fun to see the children's faces that they are too. They're artists as well. We're talking to Kat Taylor, the co-founder of the East Bridge Art and Music Festival, taking place this Saturday. Okay, let's finally talk about before I Die Wall. The Before I Die Wall is it's a national thing. They've, they've gone up many cities all over the world, actually, not even just national. It is a wall that says, Before I Die, a million times. And you can take a piece of chalk and write something you want to do before you die, maybe a dream or an aspiration. And it's a really beautiful public art project. All of the events take place this Saturday downtown, beginning at 10 o'clock here in Owensboro. Kat, how can they find out more information? All of our information will be on our website at www.eastbridgeart.com. And from there, you can also get to our Facebook page, which is a lot of new updates about the upcoming festival on Saturday. It's all free except for the children's tent. That's only $5. Music, art, and great food, too. Kat Taylor, the co-founder of the East Bridge and Art Music Festival, taking place this Saturday downtown. Kat, uh, let me ask you real quickly, what's coming up at Studio Slant, your own business there? Well, at Studio Slant, we feature canvas and cocktails, which is a painting class for adults. And we also do canvas and cupcakes, which is a painting class for children. They were once offered monthly, but after East Bridge, they'll be offered weekly to the public. Canvas and cocktails for the grown-ups, canvas and cupcakes for the kids, weekly at Studio Slant. Thank Thank you for all you all have done for the art community here in this area, Kat, and we're looking forward to seeing you Saturday. Great. I'll see you then. Thank you. So we already know it's a big weekend coming up with the East Bridge Arts and Music Festival, but that's just part of what's going on on that very special Saturday. River Park Center is having two performances of Sesame Street Live, and before that, a very special 5K run takes place. Rick Hobgood, who is branch manager of Hilliard Lines, who is putting together this 5K run coming up Saturday. Yeah, Kurt, thanks a lot for letting us uh, talk about this. This is our fifth uh, event that we've done this, our fifth time we've done this, and this year we're really excited. It's going to include not only the 5K run, but also the Owensboro Health is involved. They're going to be doing body flow and Zumba and things like that that will be starting as early as 7.30 in the morning. We're going to have events that will uh, be put on by the uh, Family Y, and that's for kids who are not doing the uh, 5K run, but they will be doing the 100-yard dashes, 200-yard dashes, 400-yard dash, and some other exercise activities. We'll have uh, some special showings by some of the Sesame Street characters that will be down there. Or the Owensboro Health has told me they're even interested in about putting a dunking booth down there that some of their doctors will be participating in. So a lot of folks maybe from Owensboro Health will be participating in that as well, wanting to dunk a doc. Well, you know, we <laughs> talked about the bridge being closed, and that's one reason that you're going to be bringing this downtown this Saturday. That's correct. The uh, bridge, the run will actually start at 9 o'clock at, uh, right in front of Lure Restaurant, and then the bridge itself will continue to be closed. The walk itself uh, that Owensboro, uh, the city of Owensboro is putting on is at 10 o'clock that will be going across the bridge and back across. And they had roughly eleven or 12,000 people participate in that walk before, so it's going to be a huge day downtown. Well, thanks for helping put this together, and uh, all of the events are free except the run itself, and that's a nominal fee. How do you sign up? Well, you can sign up online through Legends on theirs, and then we'll have same-day registration as well, but certainly would encourage you to sign up through the Legends website. Now, when should they get downtown to see if they want to sign up this this Saturday morning. On September the 6th, signups will begin at 7.30. So we'll have a registration table there about the same time that Owensboro Health starts their exercise activities. Thank you, Rick Hobgood of the Hilliard Lions Fitness Classic coming up this Saturday. We'll see you there. Get your running shoes on. Thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you there.